the car of a burning. I had to make one quick stop at the office to grab the drone. Because I think filming a golf course, if I'm playing golf, who wouldn't want the overhead drone shot of a golf course? I mean, it just makes perfect sense, right? All right, so let me tell you a quick story about why I fell in love with drone videography. I don't know if I ever share this, but I saw a couple videos, obviously, from Casey Neistat, and it just it showed me a different perspective of what the world looks like from above. Now, I never wanted to get my pilot's license or anything like that, but I did fall in love with that view. Just like when I was scuba diving, I realized that there was like this whole other aspect, there another level to the world that a majority of people never get to see. And for me, like I'm all about experiences and doing new things and, and you know seeing the world and just trying like just trying things and then and, and just kinda you know feeling it out. So drone videography is my way of basically seeing things from another perspective. Like it opens up my mind to think about things on a different level. And I'm not really artsy, like I can't draw, if you ask me to draw a banana or draw any kind of shape, it is horrible. But when it comes to videos, like just normal videos, like if I was, if you asked me to like film a video or like a music video or anything like that, I don't have that creative talent. But with a drone, it was kind of like a natural ability. I picked it up. Anthony Dearman from Photo Flight Video actually gave me my first flight lesson. He came up to the house and he's like, no, just send it up. And, and that's why I actually let people you know, fly my drone all the time because I think that by opening the doors for people and showing them you know, what the world looks like from a different perspective gives them the opportunity for them to grow. So me sharing these drone videos and me sharing you know, and filming all the time, that's one of the reasons why I do it is so that by, you know, vicariously you can see the world at a different point of view, through a different point of view. So that's it for this morning. I'm already 10 minutes late, normal, but golf doesn't start till nine and I got a few extra minutes. So I will uh, update you when we start swinging the clubs, I guess. Any alligators? No alligators. No alligators. And as you can probably tell, we have a 30% chance of rain. 